Hey everyone, Colin Shadwell back again with another YouTube video making another bass. Uh, I'm calling this one the indent bass. Uh, it's another one of my series of negative space where I, um, I make a vessel on the wheel and then destroy it by cutting it open and adding tunnels and holes and all that nonsense. So um, I'm really getting a, a hold of this, I think. It's, it's starting to come together and I'm feeling the pieces that I'm making are starting to become more unique and more interesting here. So. This one I, uh, I did after my last video, which was my fail video, so I was a little aggravated that I lost one, but I, I came back and actually tore through a whole bunch of pieces here, which I'll show at the end, but this is the first one, and it actually went pretty smooth. It was kind of, not I wasn't really going for the same shape that I messed up on the previous one. I thought I'd give that one a rest and just try this one. This is kind of more of a, I guess it's kind of close to the, the genie bottle, I suppose, um, only more kind of triangular, I should say. It doesn't really have quite such a dramatic turn in at the top. It just kind of angles up. Um, so you can see here I'm just kind of doing the, my jump holes. Of course I'm watching the bottom this time. I don't want the bottom to get too thin too fast like I did on my fail one. So um, keeping an eye on the bottom as I do this and then just again smoothing and collaring, smoothing and collaring, getting higher and higher and higher here and really stepping back and watching the shape. I really think it's important to kind of lean back and look at your entire piece um, as you're making it so you can kind of see the general shape. Now of course doesn't have to be perfect. None of these things have to be perfect as you're making them. You can come back and smooth and carve later on to get them pretty close to where you want. But I'm just trying to get the general shape that I want here. So once I kind of have it, have it how I like it here, I'll, I'll go through and kind of smooth it out a little bit and then come back later on and work on some more. So in the previous ones I did to make the to make the tunnel, I, I hand built them on the on the slab wheel. But this time I thought I'd I go through and maybe make a a, a throne piece that I would put inside uh, the previous face. So here I'm. I'm kind of making just a simple wide open cylinder that I'm going to um, alter once it's dry. It's, it's pushed down all the way through, so it's open at both ends here. So you'll see that um, once I uh, cut it off here, I'll, I'll um, kind of wedge it into a triangular shape. Now, my plan at the beginning was to go all the way through uh, my base to the other side, um, but the piece I made here wasn't quite long enough. Um, it wouldn't have made it. so. I'm making just like a little indent, which you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But I'm going ahead and get the general shape of the triangle that I want while it's wet. It's dried out a little bit. I'm making a just a general slab to, to cap off one end. So I'm cutting off the excess here. So one end is capped off there. And as you can see, I've got way more than I need here because, again, I wanted to go all the way through. But it just would not have made it with enough left over on each side. So I'm just going to go cut out the general shape. I uh, took a couple refinements here just to make sure the... The hole was just big enough, but not too big, because um, I don't want to have too much extra space. I can fill in a little bit with, I make some coil snakes and that kind of thing, but I want to make sure that it's just big enough. So I'll go ahead and slip and score here. The the thrown piece is wet enough that I can get it in there and then come in and squeeze around it so that it kind of conforms to the side of it. And then I went through and made some coils and really kind of put a lot of slip in there to kind of fill in that space. I've had some problems with my previous pieces where the, you get a nice crack in here because the uh, the base is a bit drier than the piece that I've cut out here, so uh, it tends to shrink a little bit. So I'm just trying to really fill in that area. Um, but as you can see, it it's an indent. It's not a, a complete tunnel, so it stops in the back. So now I'm going through with my sure form and really trying to smooth this out. And then with a metal rib, coming in really refining that shape again, smoothing out any of my tool marks getting it just the way I want it, really looking, stepping back, and then hitting it with the sponge here to really smooth it out. Um, so it's kind of a cool little different way of doing things. Instead of making the tunnel all the way through, you just get a nice little indentation here. So here's the finished result. Um, I put a little chatter mark at the bottom. Um, nice tall piece, a little foot at the bottom, but it's, it's pretty good. I like the way it turned out here. So after this one, I, I went on a tear and I made four more pieces that I did not get to record, unfortunately. I, um, my, my batteries died and I decided to just keep going. So here's another one that I made. This one is another thrown in the middle, but it's got the tunnel that goes all the way through a little chatter at the top. Um, this is kind of what I was going for the piece that for that I, that I messed up on in the, in the previous video, but it was kind of cool. Um, I made my first bowl of the year, which was a little wonky. It, it didn't really, uh, uh, turn out as straight as I wanted to, but I went and did some cutouts of this as well. Um, this is probably about eight inches high. I would say it's a pretty big bowl. Um, but I like the idea of the cutouts here. I might do some more of those. It was kind of fun. And then for the last one, I made this giant, giant piece. This is the tallest thing I've ever It's actually two pieces. I threw the bottom part and then threw the top part, connected them, 
and then smooth them together. It's a really, really tall piece there. I'm my little cameo over there. Got some holes in the bottom, chatter tools on the entire side. So um, I'll probably do something like this again because I really want to show how I did this because it was pretty cool. But here it is from top to bottom. Um, it's pretty humongous, humongous piece. I was happy that it made it all the way at the end. So I'll try to show one of these in my next coming videos. So thanks again for watching and come back and watch some more later on.